Hi guys, I just want to make this very quick video where um, I want to address one of the issues that has been uh, around among FL Studio users for quite some time. Uh, so it happens that sometimes you want to open a file and then you're going to get this error that says this version has expired, please check the latest version. So um, if you go on the image line forum or on Reddit or any community online, Usually what it will tell you is uh, make sure you update to the latest version of FL Studio to fix that problem. So um, for instance, this guy here, I believe is a representative. He says, uh, simply download and install the latest beta release. So this post is about the beta releases for um, FL Studio 20, which came in the form of FL Studio 12.9 point something. So uh, today I noticed I also had this problem. I was trying to open uh, some of my project files using the splice application which looks like this and um, i happened to get this error message but the thing is i was running fl studio 20 which i installed uh, many weeks ago um, so my first thought was to go right here on the image line websites uh, check that i was running fl studio 20.0.3 so i just went to my about section here and i uh, confirmed it was actually the current uh, stable release but i see how that problem so um, my next step was to go to my uh, add or remove program section on Windows. Then I typed FL Studio in this search bar right here. And uh, all the FL Studio uh, versions that I had, the program versions, appeared below. So I've already fixed that issue, so you can only see three of them. But actually, I had FL Studio 12.9.1. And um, the, that's beta release 12.9.1. It actually had this issue for uh, the version and stuff like that. So what I had to do was locate 12.9.1 uh, here. I just clicked on it and once I did, I simply uh, pressed uninstall. And then uh, during the process, I got an option to uh, select uh, remove settings. I made sure that that option was selected. And then I proceeded to uninstall FS Studio 12.9.1. So once I was done with that, I tried opening the file again with Splice and I no longer had that issue. So uh, the quick thing that I want to share in this video is that you don't uh, simply need to update your program to the latest version, but you also need to make sure that you remove whatever beta releases that you have on your PC because the settings might be conflicting with your current, uh, your current stable release. So um, that's the quick thing I want to share. Make sure you remove your previous versions, especially beta releases, and then you update the latest version. So there are two things you have to do. All right, so I don't want to take too much of your time. That's it for this video, and uh, have a great day, guys. I'll catch you next time.